the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. Crypto Lightsaber back with another video, guys. I'm going to talk about a project that um, I am extremely bullish on. This is actually a layer one project, okay, guys, as well as fitting into, into the AI and deepin sector. It seems like every video these days is about AI and deepin because that's basically the hottest narrative, in my opinion, that I see doing extremely well, okay, guys. Even right now, there's a conference going on um at nvidia so you know there's a lot of bullishness and bullish sentiment around the ai uh narrative and um you know with all the you know gpus and you know all the uh, infrastructure that's built around that or that goes for, uh, that, that goes towards you know securing the you know uh, the, the uh you know the 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 use case of this whole narrative okay guys um, you know, this is just a bullish sector to be in at the moment uh, and to speculate on. And, um, you know, we're going to talk about Blender Network. All right, guys. Um, so this one is a very good project. As, as, you, as I said, it's a layer one blockchain. OK, guys, let's just start with the chart. OK, because even as I'm recording this video, it is breaking out uh, into price discovery. OK, guys. And there's going to be a few reasons uh, because of that. Um, sitting at a 64, uh, 64 million in market cap, okay, um, 7.5 thousand holders, um, just over, okay, strong liquidity. Uh, really like the look of the chart. It's in a clear uptrend, all right, guys. And again, it's breaking out into price discovery. Sky's the limit for this particular token. You can make millions on this token, obviously, if you put a decent investment in it. Again, with it being a layer one, the scale of you know, a project that's a layer one with, you know, in fact, let's just dive into some of the actual fundamentals of it being a layer one. Okay, guys, if we go over to their Twitter, right? Um, so they are boasting ultra fast transactions with Blender. Okay, a blockchain efficiency, real time processing, lower transaction costs, and a scalable infrastructure. Okay, guys, with their whole you know, the, with the whole, you know, like um, uh, a, G, a GPU narrative as well. Okay, they've got a strong, um, strong infrastructure which will handle their growing volume of transactions without compromising speed or security, it says here. Okay, guys. Um, so, you know, these guys are very, uh, they've, they've got their stuff together. Okay. Um, I'll put this up there with OPSEC. If you guys have been following the channel, you know I'm super bullish on OPSEC. I'll put this up there with that project. And when I first came across this project, I didn't realize how good it actually was. Um, but yeah, since diving into it, I think, you know, this one is just, it's, it's got a lot of potential. And I see the market cap for this project going very high. I did say that this was deep in as well. And they basically, uh, they recently released um, this peak of their Blender box which is a node that you can basically use at home, okay? I'm not sure if they're available yet, all right, guys, but basically, you have the Blender box, okay? Um, as you can see on the screen, um, this is basically a node that you can run at home, as I said, all right, guys? So that is particularly bullish, okay, guys? Um, power and precision meet compact design in the Blender box X1. So that is, you know, that that's very... I mean, they came out with that pretty quick as well. So, you know, I'm guessing they didn't just roll out of bed and start this project. They've been building it for a while. Or at least that's how it seems, right? Um, they get, they've get they got a bunch of partnerships, okay? In a previous video, I talked about the fact that they have, um, you know, most people there saying, yo, we're with the, you know, we, we've signed up for the NVIDIA conference and NVIDIA development program and so on. Blender um, actually got into the Intel uh a developer program also and not only that they've announced a uh an enrollment in the microsoft developer program okay guys so you know they're coming up with names that you know not everyone is able to come up with microsoft intel obviously you have nvidia um it's an llc a registered llc as you can see right here i'm not sure what you know language this is but um um you know could it be dubai or something like that um, I'm not sure. Okay, guys, but yeah, it's, it's the UAE, the United Arab, Arab Emirates. Okay, guys, so they've got an LLC in Dubai. Um, 
which is a tax haven, of course. <laughs> so, you know, when it comes to profit, profitability, they're making savings on taxes, at least. All right, guys. So they have a revenue stream. They have a, a business model. Um, you know, they're building something really innovative here. And again, they're going to be a, a layer one blockchain, okay, with super fast transactions and so on. Okay, guys, big data and AI deep in layer one, you know, all the hot narratives, this fits into them. Okay, guys, they are on a few exchanges already um, as well. Um, over on Coin Market Cap, listed on Coin Market Cap, your coin geckos, all of that sort of stuff. But they're listed on Bitmart, uh, Open Ocean, XT.com, and Coin X. Uh, I see, you know, huge exchanges for this particular project. Okay, huge exchanges. Right. If you stick around to the end, I'm also going to give you some alpha on an airdrop, which I probably should have announced at the beginning of the video, but I got caught up, uh, caught up in the hype. Okay, guys, but stick around to the end of the video. I'll give you some details on an airdrop, not with Blender, with another project or a wallet that is um, going to be launching soon. Okay, and um, you'll probably be familiar with the name because they have a one of the leading exchanges uh, at the moment or up and coming at least. All right. Um, so, yeah. Stick around to the end of the video for that. Um, so Blender, okay, guys. And um, they've recently pushed an update on their website, okay. Um, as you can see here, elevate your AI rendering and simulations with Blender. Okay, guys, when you think of projects like Render, okay, guys, this is going to be a competitor to that, right? Render. Uh, Blender is sitting at a 60 million market cap, okay, something like Render which I know has been exploding uh, recently as well, as long, along with, you know, many other AI projects, okay? But Render, market cap is 4.5 billion, okay, guys? And so, you know, if Blender could reach anywhere near that from where it is right now, at a 60 million market cap, okay? That's going to be huge for... The project okay that's going to be huge for your bag it's going to be huge for your bank account right so getting it at a modest 60 million market cap where it's sitting right now uh is a great buying opportunity and it's not financial advice okay but i'm you, you could probably tell i'm super bullish on this project okay guys so if this can go anywhere to you know near render that would be crazy okay guys um Blockchain, digital rights management, decentralized GPU, computer mesh, dynamic task assignment. Uh, we've already talked about the Blender box. All the details are on the website. You can check that out in your own time. Okay, guys. Um, so basically, um, you're going to be earning the Blender tokens uh, uh, when uh, by using their infrastructure. Okay, guys. So obviously, there's passive income there. All right. Uh, we also see a flexible payment gateway, diverse and secure payment methods tailored to your convenience. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to come out with their own wallet as well, but um, it looks, it certainly looks like, uh, you know, that, that could be something here. Um, and then you get the, you know, um, their VPN, I believe. Is it a VPN? or No, you can create your GPU pools. Oh, sorry, it looks like a VPN. So you can, con you can create your own uh, pools, okay, guys. If you are a project, right, and um, I guess you can generate a revenue like that as well. Um, you know, this is a really strong project, okay. And you know, th there are a bunch of AI projects doing similar things, okay, but not to the scale of which Blender is doing it, in my opinion. Okay, um, they are standing out, in my opinion. You can see this little grayed out tab over here called stake. Um, so there's going to be staking soon as well. So several different ways to earn a passive income in this project. Staking, uh, you know, no projects, renting the GPUs, um, you know, the blender box, uh, creating your own pools uh, and so on. And not only that, obviously, it's a layer one blockchain. So you can basically, you know, launch your own projects on the blender network when that, you know, when the mainnet goes live. And so on. Um, it will be interesting to see, you know, how well the testnet operates. Okay, because they're making some pretty bold claims, obviously, in terms of the, uh, you know, their or what they want to build. Right, ultra fast transactions with Blender. Okay, guys. So speed is always important. 
All right, it's always important when it comes to a blockchain. You have your Solanas out there now. You have your AVAX. Uh, base is very quick as well. Um, whether it becomes a competitor on that level later on, who knows? Okay, guys, but getting in early, imagine having Avalanche or Phantom or, you know, um, Solana at 65 million market cap. Okay, guys, there's not many people that can say that they, they did that or they, they, they bought it at that you know value proposition okay so with this uh i'm super bullish super bullish on this project uh, i think blender has a very i mean they're calling themselves the blueprint for tomorrow okay guys so if it is as fast it is as scalable as they say that it's going to be you know this could be something pretty huge uh what i recommend you do is jump into their white paper their git book and um you know read up on the details okay guys it's not something that anyone's going to have time to cover for you in the video. So, of course, always do your own research. Don't risk more than what you can afford to lose. Super bullish on Blender. Now for some alpha. Okay, guys, I talked about the fact that I was going to drop something if you stay to the end of the video. Okay, guys, so many of you will be familiar with BitGet, uh, BitGet Exchange. Okay, they are launching their own wallet. Okay, decentralized wallet. And um, there's going to be an airdrop for BitGet. Okay, they already have the BGB token, I believe. Uh, they are going to have a BWB token for the BitGet wallet. All right, guys. And you can actually check uh, uh, your eligibility for the points for the airdrop, which will be redeemed for uh, BWB tokens, right? And literally just paste your wallet address to your Solana, uh, your EVM wallets, uh check all of your wallets okay enter your evm your tron wallet your solana address to check if you have points all right guys and one of mine which does have points um because i do have points on a few um you can literally check the button right here and it will basically tell you how many points that you are eligible for okay guys and you go through the steps you download the bitget wallet app um, import your wallet and um you can then go ahead and you know, check this little uh, BWB airdrop symbol and claim your your airdrop. Okay, guys. And when this actually goes live with their token, uh, you will then obviously have some tokens. Okay, guys. Um. So I would, if I was you, I recommend checking all of your wallets. We know that BitGet is very established already, so they're pretty. It's pretty safe, you know. But of course. You know, because things like this, you can't just use a dummy wallet. You need to use your actual wallet. Okay, guys, you can connect your wallet up here as well, which doesn't really do much at the moment. Anyway, um, the way to get the airdrop is basically by downloading the app anyway and importing your wallet into the app so that it would then read uh, and register that your the wallet that you checked on here is actually eligible. Okay, guys. So, um I do recommend you go and check that out. There's a little bit of alpha for you. Um, get you some further information on the website. I'll leave the link in the description if you want to check this out. Um, but yeah, any questions that you might have about it? How do you claim your points? How do you earn more points? Because by the way, you can earn more points by doing tasks. So the these points, for example, what you see here are just the initial points. Um, I know that a friend had like 50 points on a few wallets. I know one of my wallets has only 50 points. So I think 50 will probably be the basic minute, the bare minimum if you've got a wallet that you've used um, periodically. Um, if you've got a wallet that you've used more frequently than the others, it might have, you know, slightly more like, for example, this one where I have 300 points, okay? But um, yeah, go and check that out, guys. And that's really all I've got for you in this video. So uh, like, comment, subscribe, tick the little bell for notifications. And um, again, I'll see you in the next one.